They do what they wanna do, say what they wanna say, live how they wanna live, play how they wanna play, dance how they wanna dance, kick if they stop a friend. Hello everyone, it's me again, the crazy cartoonist who does these videos. Now, usually when I do these drawing videos, I write these lengthy essays and, um, you know, present a bunch of uh, viewpoints and counterpoints and ibids and, you know, all that in-depth stuff. Um, times have been pretty rough lately, as they have been for everybody, so I was not able to write an essay this time around, so I'm just going to do something more like a lazy director's commentary where I'm just going to ramble off a few things. So, if you're looking for something a bit more coherent... Maybe look through the archives at some of the very, very long audio essays I've written for um, other interesting critters. So today we are drawing the great John Astin as Gomez Adams from, of course, The Adams Family, which is a property that is still going pretty strong. And it's amazing that the series that has been going on for a long, long time still connects with different generations of audiences. So first of all, um, yes, I am going to be one of those insufferable snobs who says, you know, you have to look at the source material because the source material is best. And the source material is, of course, the cartoon work of Charles Adams. For those of you who have never actually seen the original Adams Family, like before the characters were developed for uh, TV and media and all that stuff, definitely check out any of the hundreds and hundreds of cartoons that Charles Adams did for The New Yorker and I think some other publications because these are fantastic cartoons. I mean, his, his comics were or single panel comics. Some of them, I guess, were multi-panel, but... Aside from the fact that he was a great artist, he was a master storyteller, and the I know it's very difficult to, you know, have a story come across in a single panel, but he did it, and his cartoons are, they're, they're funny in a way that is very different from the way that the Addams Family um, TV and movies were, too, which is very much more, you know, just cut and paste gags and uh, very simple stuff. A lot of Charles Adams cartoons, you know, you would look at it, and even if you didn't get the joke right away, when it finally did hit you, it was hilarious. So I very highly recommend that you look up uh, Charles Adams and um, his great legacy. Uh, moving right along um, to the, the first TV show from the 1960s, which I am drawing today. This is still a great, great show. The core, uh, a lot of people might think it's pretty cheesy and all that stuff too, but I still like the show a lot. And of course, one of the real stars of the show is uh, John Astin. It's very, I don't think it's possible to watch the show and not like him. He's just, he has so much personality and so much positive energy. And I know everybody thinks that the Addams Family would be very morbid and very uh, gloomy and all that stuff too. And no, he keeps... He just keeps his energy and charisma going that is infectious, and you can totally see why, uh, you know, people fell in love with the character and fell in love with the whole family as a result, and it's just that sheer happiness. He is just, he just loves his life so much. He loves his wife, he loves his children, he loves everything that's going on, and, you know, even when things are, like, ridiculously bad, he still is very optimistic about it. Um, a lot of people that I know obviously are, uh, you know, fellow Gen Xers, and they mostly know the Adams Family from the Barry Sonnenfeld movies, which had a very different tone, but still kept a lot of that positive energy going. I mean, even if the humor was darker and even bloodier in places, people love Raul Julia in the role, you know, God rest his soul. He did a fantastic job, too. Yeah, it was a very interesting reimagining of the property. Those those films still hold up very well, you know, it's it's nice to see genuine sick humor put into the series. You know, if that's not for everybody, if you prefer it a little more innocent, you know, there's always the 60s TV show. The recent animated movie that came out in 2019 that had Oscar Isaac as uh, Gomez was also a lot of fun, too. You know, that's it's a little more kid-friendly without being a flat-out kitty movie. Yeah, I mean, it's The Addams Family is still going strong, and I think it's just because there's still a lot of weirdos out there, or a lot of people who just are aware of the fact that they don't fit in with modern culture, or well, any contemporary culture. But there's always going to be a place for outcasts who are still happy with their lives and are still proud of the fact that they're not like everyone else, and I think The Addams Family really appeals to that mindset. So, obviously, that's that's the way I was raised, and well, that's the way I turned out, and that's what I can, uh, I can relate to. Um, I hope you all enjoy this happy, happy picture of Gomez. I hope it, I hope it does justice to John Astin. He's, he's still with us as of this recording. He's one of the last of the classic TV sitcom dads who is still among us. So, I mean, I, I hope he's doing well. And I hope all of you Adams Family fans and all of you weird family people in general are doing fine during the rough 2020 holiday season. Tune in next week. Hopefully we'll have uh, something else interesting planned. I'm going to keep on drawing. 
I'm going to keep on trying to do what I can to be weird and amusing, and take care of yourselves, folks. I'll see you next time.